hi guys i am back with another video royalty is done she packed up left and cj responded let's get into it gonna say a whole lot but I'm just gonna say I have the lives from both of them and I hate when situations like this happen royalty is saying that CJ was out and about trying to say he was networking but he was out cheating and she was like he's been cheating for a while and she's just tired of all that she tired of going back and forth she tired of him cheating she tired of staying in that relationship knowing that it's not working so she goes in the house, she takes out her clothes, the kids clothes. She says she's going to leave everything else for him. She not worry about all that stuff. She was like, yeah, you want a rich man, but you know, you got to deal with all this type of stuff. She's like, she about to be a rich, you know. So I'm going to just let y'all watch and y'all comment down below. How y'all feel about this? Do y'all feel like he's really cheating and he trying to play it off or he don't want anybody to know. And she's out here telling what's going on. So I'm going to let y'all watch that. And then I'm coming back with the rest of my commentary. But before we get into that, go ahead and thumbs this video up. Give it a like. Subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell. And after you finish with this video, go over to Banger Plate Gang and subscribe. Support your girl. Let's get into the live. Here we go. Y'all made her me. Not me. Y'all did. I mean, I'm not going to say I don't care. I don't want to be looking like that. But I don't know what else to say. I mean, you know, I'm, I've seen people like, what are you going to do now? Your family is gone. I'm gonna continue to do what I always did. Take care of my kids. My baby mama been took my first kid. Nike been left and took Kamari with her. I kept taking care of Kamari. I'm gonna always take care of my kids. I'm not a deadbeat, that's not me. I don't care what happens. I'm gonna always take care of my kids. Now, will she let me see my kids? I don't think so. I don't think she'll let me see them, but I've already, I've already been through that before. It's not new, nothing new to me. I already had a kid taken from me. And, and nothing, I still continue to be me. Now, did I do, did I, did I let a person make a video of me while I was at a party? Yeah. Did I, did, was I standing there and somebody started twerking? Yeah. But do I take care of all my business? Yeah. I take care of my, my business at the end of the day. And, and as a man, if you don't got nobody in your corner telling you how grateful they are for you to be doing what you're doing, then yeah, you're going to make mistakes. I told Royalty, like everything y'all seeing, y'all don't understand. Y'all only see the glamorous things that I want y'all to see. But I try to talk to Royalty and tell her way before now, way before I ever left my house and went to that party. I told Royalty, I said, Royalty, I don't feel like, I don't feel the love. It's kind of like fake. Like, are we only together for you two? Like, dang. And when I got her vibe, when the, the vibe I got from her, it was more on the yeah side. So then when I started trying to live life in real life to make sure that I'm actually happy, everything falls apart. But we really weren't really together type of stuff. I don't know, man. Y'all, you know, y'all gonna believe what y'all want. At the end of the day, I really don't care what anybody think. Cause I've always, I've always been me. Y'all gonna be y'all, I'm gonna be me. A lot of people that's in here right now are fake anyway. Most of y'all only come when I'm doing a giveaway or when I got some drama. So really, I don't care about none of that. I got people saying, you're gonna fall off like Chris Samuels and Queen. It's my channel, CJ and Royalty. No, CJ so cool. Y'all don't know me, I've been a YouTuber since 2015. It's always been me. I brought them on and I brought them up. That was my family, that was my team. That's you know, that's how you're supposed to be. But for her to sit there and say, it's my fault and my kid's fault. And for y'all to agree, you gotta be kidding me. It's a team. LeBron don't take all the credit when you in the ring. I mean, Kobe, that's the difference between he's shooting all the shots. But right now, it's, this ain't that. I'm Michael Jordan on the team. Who voice y'all here in every video? Who the one holding the camera? Who's the one coming up with the ideas? Who's the one buying all the stuff? So that's ridiculous, man. All the kids, I got them a bank account. I got every last kid in the house a bank account under my account. And 
I give them cash money. I give them bread. I give royalty bread. I just can't believe she went out bad like that. I told her too. I texted her. I said, you you took it from free promo because the shade room was promoting us like I ain't never seen before. She took it from free, free promo to actually real life. That's why I was so confident yesterday on that both telling y'all, y'all gonna see it was just a prank. But now royalty made it real, so it's not a prank no more. It was a prank because royalty really wasn't hurt by the things she seen. Like she told her, she already knew it. She knew I was at the party. She seen the pictures. She seen the videos, whatever. She wasn't hurt. She's only hurt now because there's so many people telling her she should be hurt. So y'all hilarious. But I ain't hurt because in real life. When I get back home, y'all gonna see what happens. I was saying the answer, y'all gonna see what happens. First thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna fly my daughter Kamari out finally. I don't have nobody telling me that I can't bring my daughter out here now. So now I'm gonna bring my daughter out here, my real daughter. Most people was hating on me because I never had my daughter. Now y'all hating on me because <laughs> it's all it's always like that though. I love to hate. Them. I want y'all to hate on me. It seems like when all my haters left, it's like, Dang, I lost the whole portion of my fans because most of my fans is haters. I need the haters. I know that, but y'all just don't care about that. How did I even move to Vegas? Because I was cheating on my baby mama. Simple. I'm not, I never presented myself that I was this most faithful, loyalist man. I presented myself that I was a good, genuine, nice person that will come into your life and take care of you and your family. And we can go to take a trip by myself. Everything fell apart. That means it was already fell apart. She was just waiting on the opportunity. If y'all can't realize that, then you're probably just a little bit too young or your mind doesn't work right. If you can't see through it, if you can't see through everything, then I don't know what you're seeing. Y'all see what y'all want to see. Your daughter going to be bored without them kids? That's for you to say. You, you, you honestly believe that? So you're telling me that the whole time my daughter's in Gary, she's just bored, right? Because she ain't got them kids, right? Okay, so what's the difference? If she's, if she's already bored at home in Gary, what is going to be so drastically different about being bored at home with her dad? Nothing y'all saying is going to make me worse off. Nothing. Because all y'all can't be Y'all must have forgot. But y'all going to see, you know what's going to be crazy? Y'all going to be... <laughs> they're gonna be like, I'm your biggest fan. The same people that's hating right now, I can see them in person right now. You know what they're gonna do? They mouth gonna drop, they phones gonna come out, and they're gonna ask me for a picture. So keep hating. I really wanna see it. I really wanna see the hate. Because y'all be the same people chasing me in public, running after me, pulling them phones out, asking me to follow you on Instagram. Y'all the same people. I must have checked up like that kid. Am I killing like These people, CJ. I'm about to start pinning people. Where my real fans at? Forget the haters. Hey, I always point out the haters. This for my haters. Now where my real fans at? I want to see the real people. Where the love at? I'm about to pin people. I'm still an old head though. I'm old enough to be your daddy then. 32 years old, younger than LeBron, but they calling me an old head. I dare you, I dare you tell LeBron here old head. He gonna dump on your ass. Same as me. Where my fans at? Back on my, back on my boy. I'm pinning all positivity on me. And I'm gonna do a giveaway as soon as I get back home. Where the real love at? Hey. Did y'all see that St. Cheese interview, man? Y'all don't really know me, man. Y'all front. How many of y'all can say y'all grew up with a crackhead mother? and a drug dealing dad that left you for adoption. How many of y'all really can say y'all grew up in a ghetto and you from the real life projects? How many of y'all can say that? How many of y'all can say you came from nothing and made yourself something? 
just to let someone else tell you is they that they're the reason you suffer. You know what I never do? I never tell royalty, it's my fault, you that. I'm not gonna do that, I can't take the credit from the person. Royalty is the reason she's royalty. The kids are the reason they the kids. And I'm the reason I'm me. We all individual entities. I'm CJ So Who and they are who they are. Ain't nobody you can't take the credit from nobody, man. You're supposed to give credit for credit is due. How you in a relationship with your girl never tell you she love you? Y'all heard it say I tell her I love her in her face, right? Yeah, I do. I tell her I love her. But do she tell me back? What? Would you really, really want to see some real deal? You would have to be in there. You have to be in the house. For instance, why she unplugged my cameras the day I left? I want to know, I want to see how many comments, can anybody comment right now, tell the truth, how many men in here gave their girl their Instagram login information, how many men in here gave their girl their old iPhone still connected to the iCloud, I'm going to wait, how many men will give their girl their phone right now with the code to the phone, how many of y'all, she got five phones of mine that I gave her, because she didn't, she don't trust me, right? Her only thing is, I can't trust you. I can't trust you. I need to be able to mon monitor what you're doing. So I gave her my Instagram login. I gave her everything. And that's why I was doing what I was doing. Because she had everything. She could see everything. I wasn't sneaking around, hiding. She could see everything I was doing. That's why she, it wasn't an issue until y'all found out. Once the media found out that CJ So Cool were taking pictures and someone did a story with them, that's when she got mad. She didn't want y'all to know that she already knew what I was doing. I wasn't doing anything. But that don't matter, because you know what? Y'all don't care. Y'all just want to say what y'all want to say. Y'all want attention. Y'all want people to say, oh yeah, I agree with you. The person that said TJ's a dog. If I'm a dog, then why y'all watching me? Why y'all here right now? Y'all know I'm not a dog. Y'all just want to see me in that state of mind. But I'm not. Notice I'm not cursing. Notice I'm not yelling. Notice how calm and collective I am. You know why? Because I know the truth. It was it was really just a publicity stunt it was supposed to be. I don't, I don't know. Maybe she's still... You know what's weird? It's probably still a publicity stunt. That U-Haul truck was probably she doing a vlog or something. I don't know. But I know one thing for sure. You're not about to go out and publicly... Like, see, I didn't go out and post a video of me with the girls or whatever. The girl DM me. The girl yellow yellow asked me, can she said, can I post this video? I don't even know her. I just said, yeah, it's free promo, whatever. I didn't know she was gonna take it to the max and add her own little sauce on it and do all the extra stuff. Do I wish she didn't do that? Yeah, I really wish she didn't do that. She made me look really bad and that's not that wasn't my intentions. I didn't even know she was gonna do that. But at the end of the day, royalty knew because royalty was DMing her too. <laughs> so royalty already knew everything. That's my girl royalty, y'all. She just trying to she trying to get on her own back. I've been trying to tell royalty to get in her bag and just start working harder. But she she wasn't ready. It takes it takes us to leave each other for her to want to work. That's sad because that means I want her to be single so she can get to her bag. I want my kid's mother to be somebody. I don't want my kid's mother to be leeching or to be a broke bum. I want Royalty to, be, Royalty to be as successful as possible because that's only going to mean good things for my kids. I want my kid's mom to be late. That's why I'm not clowning her. I want y'all to follow Royalty. I'm the one that's always agging her. Her YouTube channel, I created that for the kids. She took it from the kids and changed the name. I, I wanted her to do that. I let her have that. But y'all don't know that because she won't tell. She won't. She won't even give me props. You think she gonna go online and tell y'all anything good about me? That's why we needed to do whatever happening now. Whatever's happening now, it needed to be done because our energy is not the same. If I'm so excited for you, you're my girl, but you're not excited for me, that's not right. I always ask Rosie every day, are you cheating on me? Because you got all my login, but I don't got your Instagram login. And I'm not gonna sneak through our phone. That's weird. I, I still need to see, is there any man in here that's willingly giving their information to that girl? Here's my phone, here's my Instagram. Is there any man in here like that? Is there even any women in here that's asking a man for, for their personal private property? And, and I see somebody say, I don't know who to believe. That's funny. 
I'm not gonna try to force you to believe me at all. I just want you to look and judge for yourself, to see everything for yourself. She said, oh, the chains he's wearing is because of my kids. The shoes in his closet is because of my kids. And how come it's not because of us as a whole? How come she's not saying this, this is the family's fault? Like I'm saying. I know that I made the kids lit. I know that I made Roti lit. And I'm still telling y'all, we are a team. We are a team. Even though my YouTube is not the so cool family. We are a team. Why y'all think I never left my house? I love this girl so much, I, I stopped myself from being bigger. I didn't hung out with Ski Master Slump God. One, one weekend away from my family, I've already been meeting celebrities. And I'm not saying that, oh, I, I just want to be in the clubs, man. I want to party. That's not me. I've been partying. I live in Las Vegas, Nevada, a party city. I've been in the clubs. I've been spending 50000 a night on parties. I did all that. That's not my point. My point is holding myself back because royalty doesn't trust me because she's so insecure. That's got to stop. She should be on my team. She should be saying, yes, CJ, go get that bag. Go get more clout. Go do these things. And me and the family gonna hold you down here. She should have been posting videos. How come I have to leave for her to post videos? Y'all don't notice that? And it's just sad. It's so sad, man. It's so sad because I'm the only one that know the truth. Somebody said, time to sell them dogs. <laughs> them dogs is mine. I bought them dogs for me and my dogs. I just need a dog. I'm going to just put them in a dog hotel every time I leave. If I go to town, matter of fact, I'm moving. I forgot to tell y'all that. I'm about to look for a house in Texas. I'm literally about to Airbnb that mansion in Las Vegas. That house in Las Vegas, that's about to be an Airbnb. I'm going to turn into a luxury Airbnb, and y'all going to be able to stay in my old house. I'm going to be in Texas in another mansion. So for the questions, I seen people saying, what are you going to do now? If you really want to know, keep watching and find out. Because if it was really only them, the reason why I am who I am, then yeah, I wouldn't have anything else to do. I'd be okay, y'all. Huh? And I said, I'm not a YouTuber anymore, guys. That's not the case. I've been a YouTuber. Remember me doing reactions? I used to post 15 videos a day. Don't ever forget the grind is in my heart. The grind is in my heart. I, I stopped grinding to be around royalty so she can see I'm not cheating and I'm not doing all these things. and. I'm just trying to be in love with you, royalty. I don't even get credit for that. I told her last night, this is probably why she's doing all this. Last night we talked, we had a long conversation. I was trying to tell her to be more logical about everything. What about the cars? You mean all the cars in my name that I own? <laughs> Every car is mine. I'm gonna let her look. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say because I don't want to make myself seem like I'm trying to down talk her. I already uplifted her. I love royalty and I want her to be a queen. She's a queen. I want her to be a boss. I actually want her to find someone successful. But in her life, she says, oh, I don't want to find nobody. Whatever she do or don't do, I just want her to be happy. And that's what I told her last night. I said, royalty, in my heart, I'm not happy. I would never done any of these things. I said, you're not making me happy. Simple. I said, you've never threw me a surprise party. You've never gave me a gift. you never bought me anything. And now you got your own YouTube. I got her a Fashion Nova deal. She got paid from Fashion Nova. She didn't buy me anything. She didn't surprise me with anything. But I surprised her on a daily, even if I don't record it. Y'all have seen a lot of things I've surprised her with. Have you ever seen her surprise me once? And we're YouTubers, so it's like, I know y'all probably like, she shouldn't have to get you nothing. But if we're YouTubers, that should be something in her mind. Like, oh, let me do this for CJ and make a video again. If that's the case. How come we don't got that type of bond? How come we don't have that type of friendship, that type of relationship? If, it, if, it, if it's her and the kids, the reason why we're so big, then how come her and the kids have never done anything for me and dedicated a video to me? Asking to read between the lines. Don't listen to the person blowing out the smoke. Look at the situation from afar. A lot of you guys are watching from the outside, and I'm telling y'all the inside. I'm telling you the real truth without just elaborating on how mad I am that the situation happened. Am I upset that I got dumped on vacation? Yes. 
Am I upset that she's blasting me talking about she got all my phones and I'm a dog? I'm super embarrassed because all the corporations and businesses watching me, they're like, oh, this guy's probably not as professional as we thought. His family falling apart. That makes my brand look bad. So instead of me making her brand look bad, I'm over here trying to make her look good. I want brands to be able to steal contact royalty and give her money. She don't even want me to get money now. She really to that point where she like, oh, I want him to fall off. I want him to be like, like the fans saying, oh, you're going to be like Chris. Bro, that's disrespectful as heck. I would never do that to anybody. I've been with royalty for eight years. Only off the strength that her and her mom let me live with them for a year. I was literally, I could have been homeless. I want no YouTube yet. I got fired from my job for being too good at my job. And I got dumped by my girlfriend from cheating on her with royalty. And royalty let me live. Royalty didn't let me her mom. Her mom let me live with them. So me being the nice, genuine person that I am, I stayed with royalty the whole time. I've been rich. If I was really this dog, why didn't I leave royalty before she had the kids? By the way, y'all do realize what type of kids we had, right? We went to the doctor, I paid $40,000 to get her pregnant. That's not natural. That's something that, that's like, y'all don't get it, man. But you know what? I'm easily hated on because I'm always flashing. I'm always happy. So of course people gonna hate me. If you're not happy, it's easy for you to hate on someone because misery loves company. So every time you guys type a negative comment, think. After you type it and you send it and you see it and you're all happy, like, yes, yeah, I'm going to get, someone's going to repost this live and it's going to be on the shade room and my comment's going to be seen. Think about how bad you look being negative. Like, that's, that's some stuff I can never see myself doing, whether I was famous or not. I'm not about to comment on somebody's page and tell them, oh, you're going to fall off and why? Even if I think it in my head, okay, so like this. Since Chris and Queen, this happened to them. We got this as an example, right? Imagine me commenting on Chris Page saying, You about to fall off, dude. You tripping. You better you better fix it, man. You better go home and be with your girl, man. You about to fall off. I'm not about to put that energy out there. Because first of all, I don't wish that on nobody. And that's not my place to be spreading negativity. Y'all don't it's weird, man. So weird, my boy Jinx and him. It's so easy to be positive that people just decide to be negative for no reason. I really can't believe my phone working on the highway. Like, what the heck? That's crazy. Instagram was like, yeah, we're going we gonna to make his stuff work. This is crazy, though, man. I literally do a giveaway right now. I have 5,000 viewers. But I got drama and 20,000 viewers. The world itself is based off negative vibes. That's why I was running with the with the media. That's why I was letting the shade room post it. That's why I told Yelly Yelly, yeah, give them the video. I know what the real is. I don't know you. Whoever Yelly Yelly is, do you think I really know her? Do you think I know her music or ever listen to her song? I've never heard her in my life. I've never seen her in my life. I was at that blue party and everybody in there was coming up to me. They were all saying the same thing too. It was like a, it was like a real, it was like a setup. Girls was walking up to me like, I don't know who you is. I never seen you before, but you lit. I want to take a picture with you. I'm like, this is kind of weird. And I'm just taking pictures with everybody. Come on, let's do it. I'm she just so cool, the YouTuber. I take pictures with people. But now it's like, man, now I'm to the point where I don't have anybody I can embarrass. I got dumped already. So now whatever I do, it's not embarrassing to anyone. But this is real life. It started off as so, so fake. This was just really, I'm telling you, this was really a prank. It really went from a prank to a real life based off of royalty. She saw them views. I, when she texted me a picture of her um, story views, she had 300,000 views. She said, oh my God, I've never seen this before. I was like, yeah, I told you this was going to work. And the next day, she moved out. I'm like, you don't have, I told her, I said, royalty, you didn't have to do it. No, she didn't move out the next day. She posted a story at the U-Haul truck place. But she really wasn't getting the U-Haul. She was just, she said, I'm just doing it for promo. I said, you don't have to do that. That's a little bit extra right there. And now she moved out. Like, she took it to the next step. So now, she's single. And I'm single. I'm not trying to fix it no more. I'm not calling her no more. 
I'm not following her back. I took the pictures off my Instagram. Now she made it real, so I have to make it real. But that being said, man, Royalty Live. Hey, tell Royalty to join my live. We can do we can do this together. And she she um she do the most when she go live. She be yelling, cussing, crying. She just disorganized. She just looks she looks she doesn't look right. I ain't talking about as far as face. I'm just saying like her energy is is something wrong. Something really wrong. That's why I say y'all pray for me. I'm asking y'all to pray for me because I'm not trying to be like that. But yeah, man. What we gonna do? We're gonna keep living. We're gonna keep running it up. If a man let a woman stop his ground, he's not a man. So if if that's the case, then you wasn't nothing anyway. But that's not me. I have my own energy. I have my own soul. No one owns my soul. My energy is unmatched. When I get my voice back from being hoarse, my voice is unique. My persona is unique. That's these are things I've heard and seen. These ain't things I'm making up. But yeah, man, I'm in my life so y'all can go listen to Royalty Blow Smoke. She probably yelling, cussing, screaming. And y'all like CJ too boring, but he too cool about it. But we need to see, some, we need to see some action. So go watch the action show, man. I'm, I'm ending my line. Somebody said, you know what CNN is too? I don't know what that is. Join her live. How do I do that? I'm gonna see if I can do that. I'm gonna see if I can join her live. Hold on. She, I want her to not cap. I want to tell the truth and be truthful myself. Like this, this shit is just, this shit is, it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done, bruh, it's done, everybody want a rich nigga until you got a rich nigga, nah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I don't want a rich nigga no more, I'm about to be a rich bitch, that's what I'm about to be. But just know I ain't never dumb to no situation because I don't say anything. My best weapon is my silence. But when I'm brought to the top, when I can't hold in my silence anymore, it's over. Like, I can't do it no more. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. I'm just so hurt right now, y'all. Y'all don't understand. I've been lied to to so many years thinking that everything was good and it's not I can't hold it back no more but just know y'all me and my kids always gonna be good and I wish him the best of luck that's all I can say I thought we took care of each other I th like I don't understand like money and fame really changes people CJ, you can have it all. You did all this by yourself. You got all this by yourself because you CJ so cool. Remember that. You got all this because you surprised my kids with bikes and PlayStations and parties and stuff. But you know what? You wasn't pranking walls. You wasn't pranking the ground. You wasn't pranking any of that. You was pranking me and my kids. But you know what? You can have it all, CJ. I'm finna show y'all that money. I can't keep being embarrassed and humiliated because you want to promote and network? Nah. Just know I feel sorry for the next one that's going to sit up in this bitch with you. Because it ain't going to be me. This is the tea of the day, y'all. Send it to the tea pages. Send it to where y'all. Got Okay, so how do y'all feel about this? Comment down below. Like I said, I hate when people go through stuff like this. They're married. They've been together. You know, they came together as a whole family. You know, like she said, it's supposed to be about them together, not just him. And then he's saying, well, I always put them in my stuff. It was just about me, yada, yada, yada. So I just feel like, you know... They're both hurt. She's hurt because she feel like he's cheating. And then he's like, he loves her. You know, he did all this stuff for her. And he's, you know, done it because he loves her. If he didn't love her, he wouldn't be doing half the stuff that he did. But anyway, whatever happens going to happen anyway. I just wish them the best. I hope they can 
work out their problems if not you know i hope they go on with their lives and it don't be a whole lot of stress and a whole lot of negativity i like how she was like okay well y'all can't you can have everything basically i want my kids clothes i want my clothes i just don't have time for it so i get it but y'all comment down below give me a thumbs up on my video subscribe to my channel if you hadn't already subscribe to my other channels if you hadn't already make sure you check me out on social media and make sure you check out my shop Make sure you click that bell for notification of my videos. Make sure you check out my IGT page and shop with your girl. Also, go over to Banger Plate Gang and subscribe if you hadn't already. Like I said, we're doing a 43-inch TV giveaway on the 15th. So, you have to be in there before the 15th in order to be eligible for the entry. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, be blessed. Anyway, enough of that stuff.